So the benefit of being a Costa Rica digital nomad, that's what I will be covering today in my video. If you haven't met me before, welcome! My name is Muriel from the Sunshine Family and I'm uploading videos about everything that I have learned as being an expat mom living in Costa Rica together with my husband Dirk and our two growing up kids and our two dogs. And I am a digital nomad living in Costa Rica and especially today, living in 2020, when the world is upside down due to COVID, I think this topic um, is huge. I think uh, being a digital nomad in Costa Rica can help you earn a great living and enjoying the Pura Vida life. And yeah, I just wanted to touch base about some benefits. Um, and it also covers what um, freedom means to me personally uh, if you're dreaming about moving to Costa Rica you probably have your own reasons everyone has their own reasons oh look at this beautiful shelf by the way I'm sitting at my favorite beach here in Malpais uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet uh, you will see a little icon here at the bottom of the screen tap it for subscribing and if you hit the bell icon you also uh, get notifications every time I upload a new uh, video so you don't have to miss anything and by the way although I live here since 2018 I do not know everything and I'm not claiming that I do know everything I do know that you can learn from my mistakes and I leave it up to you if you find my videos valuable so if you like them give me a like give me a thumbs up share my videos and I'm looking I'm looking forward always to read your replies and your questions and sometimes I dedicate a special video about specific questions so why do why do I believe that being a digital nomad um, in Costa Rica these days is the best decision ever you can make well I think it, it's kind of clear that um, during COVID people are or were or are uh, um, stuck at home right well a lot of employees uh, help their their teams to work remotely from home by using online programs such as zooms education platforms like schools start to use massively online ways to educate their students and also working has become really really more possible uh, by doing it online right now the thing is that I already was a digital nomad and I came to Costa Rica as a digital nomad so for me actually COVID hasn't really changed a lot in fact it helped me to, to get to create my biggest month ever I created a $50,000 income uh, the previous month thanks to being a digital nomad in Costa Rica working fully online and that may sound crazy or unreal or even surreal <laughs> and I still have to squeeze my own arm but the reason I share my epic income I think this proves that everyone is searching for solutions and education and answers online and if you are able somehow to provide value if you know how to sell products online as an affiliate marketer or perhaps you have an expertise right that you can share using screen share the same way that I do right now I have my phone on a selfie stick and I'm providing value about a topic that I know something about and I do know that people are searching for this topic because I did some keyword research right I, uh, I it's, it's easy to see where people are looking for on search engines in search engines uh, and look for answers on Google and YouTube so you know um, Costa Rica digital nomad I think this belongs together if you have a dream and you do not live in Costa Rica yet but you do want to I think uh, working online successfully is the best way and like I said let me cover a couple of ways on how you can work successfully as a digital nomad in Costa Rica and that is basically what I do myself so I already covered it um, I'm always looking around because I'm looking for my dog there are some other kiddos and I'm looking for my own son he's probably hanging in some kind of tree <laughs> But uh, let me sit like this so I have a good view on everyone and everything. So what ways, what if you are totally 
not familiar with the word digital nomad. For me, it means that you're able to work from wherever in the world using a laptop, smartphone and internet connection. Meaning you're as free as a bird, you're not location dependent, right? So you can basically close your laptop where you are right now, travel or go somewhere. Of course, tra traveling is still restricted in these days, but suppose that you could just travel wherever you want to travel to. You open your laptop there, connect it to a, to a Wi-Fi connection, and then you can just start continue working. This is what Dirk and I did. We closed our laptops in the Netherlands after we sold everything and gave away all our stuff and opened it in Costa Rica where we just simply continued to work and we did the same. Now, that's the foundation, right? Now, what ways can you generate an income online as digital nomad? Well, there's many, 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 many ways, but let me just give, keep myself as an example about, you know, ooh, how to be in Costa Rica as digital nomad, this is what I do. One, I'm a coach, so I have expertise in coaching people. I'm a life coach, a transformational life coaching, basically how people can go from where they are right now to changing careers, to creating a different type of life uh, in every way. So mentally, physically, uh, financially, business-wise, relationship-wise. I've done it, right? So I can use um, an online platform for this. I use Zoom, for example, to host, set up my meetings. I create recordings. I can send it to my clients. If you have some kind of expertise that you can transfer like this on screen, uh, send a recording or have people streaming on live like for example if you're a teacher some kind of teachings every so many type of teachings you can transfer um, with screen share like this or with doing videos right um, I love those happy playing sounds in the background of kiddos don't you think it's so enjoyable to see other kiddos play so yeah coaching and using uh, online platforms uh, also, my most favorite way of being a digital nomad in Costa Rica and what enables, enabled me to move to Costa Rica is being an affiliate marketer. And that's basically earning commissions by selling other people's products or services at preferable online products. Because in Costa Rica, you don't want to stuff things in your house because things get moldy. Uh, the jungle takes over so you don't want to have shelves with boxes and stuff and then have to send it you know in general you don't want to receive packages or have to be sending packages from Costa Rica especially not where I live it's not ideal things do not uh, arrive when I need stuff I have friends bringing me stuff and I live very minimalistic and that is my definition of freedom being you know a digital nomad in Costa Rica so basically Costa Rica digital nomad and I don't need that much I have my phone my selfie stick I have my cap I have my bikini I have a small amount of stuff don't forget that we sold everything uh, more or less two years ago before we moved and I learned that I didn't need that much I just need to be confident with myself and I need to have skills some kind of skills that I can transfer online and, and make an income with it and then stuff is just stuff health Health is really important. You cannot really buy it. You have to create it by eating healthy, living healthy. Um, but yeah, stuff, you know. I remember when I was thinking about becoming a Costa Rica digital nomad because we planted our flag here. I thought, oh, what do I do with all the stuff? And then the answer popped up immediately. Get rid of it! Because if you're a digital nomad and you want to have, this is how we move to Costa Rica we didn't even were planning to stay here forever right we just wanted to move here and then wait and see uh, just continue our creating an income and that evolved into buying property etc now we're more or less not stuck to the property we can always rent it out sell it whatever but for now I think it's a beautiful investment and uh, we actually like Costa Rica a lot especially during COVID and all the side effects of COVID, I think this is the best place to hang out until we're done 
with Costa Rica. And actually I don't see that happen that fast because there's so much to explore in Costa Rica. So I think I'm rambling on a little bit too much about this piece of the topic, but an affiliate marketer sells other people's products and earns commissions with it. Now, if you want to learn how I do it, I just want you to keep it simple. Go ahead to the first link in the description under my video, click it and get started. It's an orientation course, it's simple. It prevents me to explain all the, the little things and the techie things. And it's actually not hard, it's just following a specific concept. Affiliate marketing is a billion dollar industry. If you look at what COVID did to the world, is that a lot of people are online. They work online, they buy online, and they sell online. And that has always been done, but now due to COVID, way more people are benefiting from it, way more people are discovering it. A lot of people are forced to do it, especially people who have a job, they were forced to work online because there is no other way. But actually I hear a lot of people enjoying it and discovering the benefits of being around your family at home and finding a structure and balance with teaching your kids from home online because all the schools were online for a while, right? I even pulled my kids out of their offline school here, uh, the international school, because it was not really uh, according to the values that I have as a mom in education. They were not professionalized in online education so I pulled my kids out and I enrolled them in an online platform so even my kids learn to be 100% online and, and and as Costa Rica digital nomads living their lives having their education online is a huge benefit because when we want to do a day trip or doing a crocodile trip or like the other day we did a fishing and a whale spotting tour we don't have to ask permission to take the day off at school like we used to do before but the kids can just choose to do extra work the previous day or the day after and I think it's a huge benefit if you look at these things when you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica I think being an online entrepreneur is the key but then of course you need to get started building your roof right now so if you're dreaming about moving to Costa Rica right now and you have no clue about generating an income online and digital nomad ship this is the moment to start digging in it and just make it work and don't waste any of your time by scrolling on YouTube and Google and signing up for free webinars and stuff that in generally brings you from freebie to freebie and it always covers just the surface level of um, digital nomad ship and working online and entrepreneurship uh, I recommend you a uh, as soon as you know 100% that you want to be a digital nomad and you want to have the freedom to work from wherever, even if that would be home in the next pandemic, whatever happens in the future, you don't want to rely on a job that will probably end or a company that's not making it. This is your, this is, this is your truth. You have to start building the roof while the sun is still shining. What do I mean with that? by that? A lot of people still have their job, a lot of people still have some savings, uh, a lot of people still have their business, but if you do not see how you can totally replace all that by doing it fully online, then I think you're missing out. You leave a lot of freedom and income on the table. Um, simple. But the choice is up to you. And a lot of people say, well, but you know, how do I know that it's possible? Well. Am, ain't I the biggest example right now in front of you? I think 97% uh, of all the people never get started to be a digital nomad, even when they want to, even when it's possible, because of their disbelief in themselves. So it's more or less between the ears that's stopping people or preventing people to do what I do. But you know, I came from a bankruptcy situation in 2013 with Dirk's restaurants. That was way before COVID, so I was super afraid of how to pay the bills because we were bankrupt, we had $300,000 debts. I already overcame my fear to jump online and master skills to be a digital nomad, enabling me now to move to wherever I want to move in the world. Even if I want to leave Costa Rica, it's possible because as long as there's Wi-Fi, as long as I have my smartphone and my desktop, my, 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 my Apple friend, 
then I'm good, right? And that is what most people are seeking for right now. Uh, so if you have a skill and you know how to set up a sales funnel, like a pathway for your followers to follow and to click through, receive follow-up messages from you with massive value and follow-up so you can build a relationship with your followers, and you have something to offer that solves people's problems, that is the core of a business online. And if you can make a video, if you have something to offer that is worth something for others so you need to be sure that it is that it is about health wealth or relationships basically that is what online entrepreneurship is always based on because that marketplace will never be exaggerated right um, health wealth relationships remember those three keywords so how to generate an income online it's one of the expertise I have so therefore I am selling products teaching this to you for example and people ask me well were you your Costa Rica YouTube channel why are you sharing all these videos well one because I am passionate about Costa Rica two because I learned how to create a business around my passion my passion is Costa Rica but if your passion is fishing I can teach you how to build a business around fishing Right, so I am never, I, I never lack of content about Costa Rica. No matter I'm not the expert, I can tell you a lot of things that I've learned. So my business is built around Costa Rica and it's built in Costa Rica. And I think when you can do that, so for example, if you're so passionate about your yoga, you can build a business around it online, 100% for sure. And you can make a beautiful income with it, but you have to be creative. So, yeah, building a business around your passion is one of the ways. Affiliate marketing is one of the other ways. So you do not have to have your own products. It's, I think it's a big benefit to be an affiliate marketer. So go ahead, click the first link in the description below because that's where you're able to, to learn and to get a bigger picture about what it is that I do. But also by, 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 by creating videos where people are searching for and when people are watching so you can never fake YouTube, right? YouTube knows exactly if others are in search for the topics that you cover your videos about. And if there are people searching and watching your videos, searching for your topics, then YouTube will reward you and will help you to be seen by a lot of others, right? And every view gets a reward with a couple of cents. I think it's three to four cents per view that YouTube and Google AdWords will be paying you. Can you imagine if you know a lot about something, it doesn't matter if it's about sand or if it's about photography or horseback riding, dressage, yoga, science, stars, about the Milky Way, if you know a lot about it and you're able to provide massive value. So this is income number, income stream number three as a digital nomad in Costa Rica is to create content around it and, cr and create um, a YouTube um, channel and just start earning about that. There were so many YouTube channels about living off grid in, I don't know where, uh, Alaska, uh, just there were YouTube channels about a small, about um, about schoolie life, living in the bus, right? Although we sleep in the bus, we are no schoolies, right? We have a house, we're building a new house, you know. But there are YouTube channels where people are just creating videos about their life, their day-to-day -day life, and they have thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of views per video. Now just calculate if YouTube AdWords paid you three cents per video, you can calculate what those creators are earning just by uploading YouTube videos and where others love, that others love to watch. So with that being said, those were three ways to be a digital nomad in Costa Rica and that if you ask me, can allow you to move to Costa Rica if you're dreaming about it. And to wrap my video with is that I am literally building a community of ex of Costa Rica lovers and expats who already work remotely and online or want to start learning how that works 
I am creating that community here in Costa Rica. A lot of people joined so far are learning how to build a business around their lives in Costa Rica or their future lives in Costa Rica, basically how to build a business around their vision to move to Costa Rica. That's what I have done in the past. And if you want to join my community of expat lovers and expat, expat Costa Rica lovers and expat, and you know, you think that working online and remotely is awesome, then connect with me. Go to the description below, hit the first link or scroll further, uh, connect with me, send me a message on Facebook, book a call with me, uh, order my book. Uh, there are so many ways to connect with me. Follow me on Facebook. Um, basically, I love to hear from you. Anything is possible and I believe in you. Uh, when others were not believing in my dream, I believed in my dream and I believe in your dream. So, yeah, I think anything is possible. Woohoo! Costa Rica Digital Nomads! Where are you? And, uh, yeah seeing you soon in Costa Rica. I'm looking forward to meeting you one day and like my video, share my video, comment on my video if you think it's worth it and big hugs. Behind me you see my son playing around with the beautiful ocean here in Malpais. It is a Sunday. Let me know where you are in the world and uh, thanks for watching again. This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family.